Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul here from Radio Free Hammer Hall. Um, I just wanted to do a hobby vlog, and this is actually just kind of a personal accountability hobby vlog that I'm doing right now. Um, so I'm just kind of going to give you guys a tour of my nerd cave, uh, what I've got going on, and frankly, like, it's accountability because... <laughs> Um, a lot of this is a total mess and I really have a lot of little projects that I need to work on. I have some bigger projects that I want to work on and, um, things are just kind of tossed and I feel like I need to get them in better order. So this is my hobby desk. See, I have a few things going on here. My paint rack, brushes, etc. over here. I'm sure I'm going to get yelled at for the condition I am keeping my brushes in. Big pile of bits that are mainly for basing and things like that that have just sort of hung out there. Work in progress on the plague furnace as well as little side project. The um, last couple of guys to fill out my men at arms unit, which is going to be used as uh, it counts as spearmen or counts as halberdiers, sort of as needed, I guess. Um, and they're just cool models to have around. I like them. Um, moving over here, this is where my laptop's usually hanging out, but it is closed at the moment because I was just upstairs. Um, over here, I typically have on top of this set of drawers um, some sort of like project that's ongoing and a nice scented man candle. Mountain Lodge. Yeah, very nice. It's a fine smell. Um, but right now, this is usually just kind of like my holding area. I've got a bunch of sprues that need to get cut down. Going through all of these. Um, I've started on this. This is like my tool drawer. Then this is the horror of miscellaneous bits drawer. Um, then this... I need to get a new uh, bits container for this, but this is all Skaven sprues. This is Free Guild bits. And something is catching on the drawer. Okay. Nurgle bits. Uh, basing materials. Ah, okay. And then over here, I've got more parts for my Dremel. Uh, agitators, uh, dropper bottles, and these actually these need to get moved over to drawer into basing materials because those are jewelry chain. And then down in our last drawer, spare bases. So this, a lot of that's actually been cleaned up already. Um, and part of my project is found this nice rack uh, just hanging around in a spare room unused. So I've started utilizing this for things. Uh, this is work in process plague monks, mostly just sprues hanging out. Down here is more basing materials. I use that wood filler a lot on bases to get texture over cork. Um, this is a random thing my wife found. It's, uh, crushed seashells that, uh, they make really nice rocks when you paint them. Uh, just some green stuff, some beach sand for, uh, you know, free grit, basically. And here's where things get to be a total, total fucking disaster. So, yeah. All of these fake flowers, um, they were originally intended for Nurgle bases. They never quite got there. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. Um, a whole bunch of different colors of spray paint. These guys are my primers, the blacks. Uh, this, I did not realize that this was a gloss when I purchased it, so that needs to get moved elsewhere. I've got a couple of other spray cans. Really, I've never used the green or the brown. I don't know why they're even still hanging out here. Uh, this is kind of my work in process projects. This is pretty much all Nurgle stuff here. And then back here, the last couple of endless spells that I haven't painted yet. Current temporary storage spot of my Skaven army, which uh, 
I've got almost everything in this army painted up at this point. Um, I don't know why my palette is over here, but it's over here at the moment. Uh, this is just a random box that I use for priming, bring it outside. Uh, fun fact about this box, this is actually, um, I bought a pre-owned lot uh, that was uh, at you know friendly local game store on the shelf. Um, and this is the box they gave me to bring it home in. So it, oddly enough, this box has a little bit of sentimental value. Um, moving over here. So this is, by the way, this whole thing, this is my ga home gaming table. And you'll see it's currently all just used for storage and I really need to fix that. Uh, over here, just kind of hanging out, my Nurgle display board, which I feel like is still sort of a work in process and could use a lot more detail. Um, it could use some love. This is a whole bunch of work in process free guild stuff. Um, a lot of it isn't even really that work in process. Um, a lot of it, I was starting to bring some of the in infantry up to a higher paint quality. And then I kind of said, fuck it. I'm really not going to bother getting that to that quality. Uh, so I've got some unpainted stuff here, some stuff that needs basing, some stuff that needs black rims on the bases. Uh, this is just a container of extra dice. Um, some, I guess, work in process and extra bits and stuff for free guild over here. Some nice spray glue. I was using that for uh, working on terrain, specifically this guy over here. Um, for whatever reason, uh, I've got all of the stuff for Silver Tower hanging out in here. It's about maybe half-ish painted. Um, so that's kind of hanging out. Uh a uh, foam wire cutter, more spray paints. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of craft paints and actually like house paint samples. Um, anytime I get uh, house paint samples uh, for painting a room in the house, uh, I just bring the sample down here and find uses for it. Um, so like this one is, let's see what this was. This was a very light blue. So that um, can mix nicely with some other things to create some tonal variation when you're doing like rocks like that. Um, you know, it's just spare paint hanging around. So I find use for it. Um, over here is my nice like display shelves. I guess if we can call it that, although it's kind of a disaster because if we look up here, we have like ranks and ranks of stuff and I have all of my endless spells up at the front. And all of the cool stuff that you can't even see because of shadows hidden in the back. Uh, my Nurgle shelf, which none of my stuff is on my Nurgle shelf at the moment. And you'll see in a moment why. Whole bunch of free gold stuff. Um, this group over here, this is almost all swordsmen except for uh, 20 crossbows up in the front. Uh, yeah, I have, a, a, I have a lot of free guild shit. Um... And I've got an empty shelf down here. I think that's probably going to become Skaven. Um, and then I have other shelves down here that actually have books on them. How about that? Bookshelves with actual books on them. Um, I've got my staging grounds for eBay sales. A bunch of my daughter's shit. <laughs> um, all of my Nurgle in my typical... Uh, mushroom tray carrying case. Um, this was literally like a thing that I, I got to like bring stuff home from BJ's one day. And now I, I have two of them and I just use them to transport armies because they're surprisingly good army transports. A um, couple of other like little projects. I have a couple of plague drones over there that need to get finished up. Uh, Free guild handgunners, or not handgunners, uh, pistoliers. Um, okay, so inbound on the real disaster is, you see here, there's a bunch of pink foam underneath this. This is like a ton of just spare material. Spare material. That's all this is. That needs to get cleaned and have something done with it. 
Uh, this giant chunk here, this was a terrain project that I started a while ago. Um, I wanted to make big modular terrain. I made one giant piece and stopped doing that. Um, random skull that I found at a party store really just kind of needs to be uh, repainted to go along with the paint scheme of everything else that I've got. A bunch of plaster bandage and some other smaller skulls, also from party stores and Halloween and things like that. Nice gallon jug of PVA. Uh, some nicer transportation stuff. Always good to have that around. Uh, even more scraps of uh, uh, styrofoam to make terrain with over there. And if we get right down to it here, you can't really see very well. You'll see, though, a whole bunch of, like, half-done pieces of terrain. See, there's one over there. Got a few things over there. And then this box right here is actually... If I pull this all the way out, this is just a box of terrain. Um... A bunch of stuff that I had made and I don't ever really use and I should use more. Um, and I kind of want to like, you know, finish a proper table's worth of terrain at some point in my life. So that's definitely on the to-do list. Um, as well as cleaning out stuff in here that's just trash. See more paint samples, more random boxes for stuff, more spray cans bunch of empty boxes that I kind of, I guess, kept for potential eBay sales. So yeah, I think you guys are getting the picture here. Um, I want to reclaim my table so I can actually play games at home and I need to actually organize my stuff a lot better than it is. And so I'm going to start working on that project. So, um, yeah, it's just my accountability video for that, I guess so that I can start working on that. And yes, I know, it's like a sin that I have latex paint hanging around. Um, however, latex paint is actually what I used on the tabletop. Uh, I made, basically made a slurry of latex paint and sand uh, and just pushed that around to get like the texture. Um, and I've done that on like some hills and things like that as well. Um, and then I've just used the excess of that to do the basing on my free guild army and just a few other random things just to like the outside of this was done in latex uh, just because it's easier. Sometimes on terrain, I'll use latex base paint just because it's what I have around for things or crappy craft paints. Um, I'm not really like big on high quality terrain. I'm more interested in high functioning terrain. Um, it's actually like a little uh, trophy from a tournament a long time ago. Um, yeah. So this is my giant mound of crap that I need to work on. A lot of projects that need to be done. Many, many things that need to be done. All right, kids. Uh, that's it for now. I really need to get all of this stuff back up to proper standard. So... The quest begins. Uh, I'll try and do some updates now and then to try and keep myself accountable on this. Uh, I encourage other people to do the same thing, by the way. Uh, I find if I do something to make myself accountable to things, they tend to get done. Like, you know, th having this channel in general has been keeping me accountable to myself on actually working on armies, like thinking about math thinking about the math hammer stuff, actually studying things in depth um, rather than just kind of winging it, um, which is exactly what I'm doing in this video. It's just completely winging it, which is really funny because so much of my channel is actually winging it and unscripted, but got a lot to go here. Uh, I think I need to put some things on these walls too. Got a nice bacon calendar over here though. That's pretty sweet. Um, old sweet DJ headphones. Those things bang like crazy, let me tell you. Um, I think that's going to be it for now. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. So uh, I will give you guys updates, and I'll see you all later.